um, I pulled this question mainly um, as a kind of uh, another example of um, word-based problem solving. Um, the physics content here isn't too hard, although I think it's one of those that I have, have I memorized it? I'll try it, but then I'll have to check. Let me read it here. I think this is problem set two in your, um, not problem set two. This is question two in your problem set. Um, so it has some description and in terms of the physics content it's dealing with, it's just dealing with the conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And, but it's not asking you to convert a num, convert one reading to another reading. It's uh, one of those uh, word problems in your math class. So it, what it's really uh, asking you, it might be minus 40 degrees C. No, it, I don't think it's minus 40 degrees C. That's where, um, yeah, yeah, that's where it's the same when it's both my, negative. Here, there's a mistake in reading, so. Um, so, <laughs> um, so it's a word problem. You, it's a kind of, it's a question that uh, someone might have given you in an algebra class. In an algebra class, they would have also had to give you this information where, I don't know if I'm remembering this right. So if you have, uh, so let me say TC is a temperature reading in degrees of C. So this is just a numerical value. And TF is temperature reading in degrees Fahrenheit then I think these two numbers are related by, <laughs> I'm trying to do this from memory. I'm not sure if I remember it right. I'll write it down and then I'll consult to your textbook to make sure that I remember it correctly. I think it is the temperature reading in Celsius is five ninth temperature reading in Fahrenheit minus, no, 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 no. Um, 32, and this would be in degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's right. Um, let me just double check to be sure. Um, so by the way, all the questions, the way they are written, they are written to, in a way to kind of link you to relevant uh, textbook sections. So if you go to problem set two and get the, uh, question. Um, I need a live hint link. So it says review section and oh, and I guess yeah, it gives you the hint for what I was going to go through. Um, so when you look at the textbook section, in this section is where they tell you what the conversion equation, uh, with the temperatures, the conversion is wonky. It's not a factor. You have, there's an offset too. So you have to be careful there. So yeah, temperature in uh, Celsius is five ninth, temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32. Okay, good. <laughs> so I remember it correctly. <laughs> so now, so this is a question that they could have given you even in a math class, provided they provide you with this formula to start. Once that you have that, then it's kind of a word problem in math. So, um, so let me kind of read the question, set up the equation, and then solve the equation. So it says, um, so yeah, a person taking a reading in temp of temperature in freezer in Celsius makes two mistakes. First, omitting the negative sign. And two, thinking the temperature is in Fahrenheit. So I guess the number that's given is, um, yeah, this, but they think it's this. So and he says, oddly enough, the result is the correct Fahrenheit temperature. What is the original Celsius reading? So let's start out with the original Celsius reading. So original Celsius reading is minus X. And what we are looking for is this minus X. And what it is saying is that the person mistakenly read it as X degrees of Fahrenheit. So, um, let's see. So I think uh, um, what I would need to say is I would take this here, this equation, 
and the left hand side will be the reading in degrees of Celsius, which is what um, the, what the refrigerator was giving minus x, and on the right hand side, the person thought the reading was giving the temperature in Fahrenheit uh, and without the minus sign. So I would plug in X here. And I keep this equality here because the question says that oddly enough, the result is still correct. So if the result isn't correct, then you know, it's just a mistake and it's all nonsense. But because by some pure chance that those two led to the correct reading still. So I can keep this uh, equality sign here. So let me set up that equation. So I have minus X, the temperature reading in degrees Celsius is equal to the, what the person mistakenly thought it was, the X degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Um, and uh, let me do the conversion equation, minus 32 times five-ninth. So it's solve for x. You um, distribute the terms, five-ninth x minus, uh, uh, I'm just going to write it out, um, 160 divided by nine. Yeah, five times 32 is I think 160. And um, collect the like terms, move the x term over, to the left hand side, then I get um, x times minus one, that's the first term, minus, because when I moved it over, it changed sign, five ninth is equal to minus 160 over nine. So this, just combining that, this is nine over nine, so it should be minus 14 over nine, um, so multiply both sides by, I'm trying to cancel out this fraction here, so I wouldn't need to multiply by minus nine over 14. Then some nice things happen, uh, nines cancel, minus signs cancel, so X is a positive value, right? Um, and, and the original Celsius reading will be a negative value. And the answer is 160 over 14. I don't think that simplifies, so let me just do that in a calculator so that no, I'm not wasting time. 160 over 14, 11.43. So my final answer here is X is equal to 11 point, I forgot already, 43. 43, and the reading here is a minus 11.43. Yep. <laughs> so it's an algebra. It's a, a not complicated algebra. Hopefully everyone um, can do this. Um, if uh, you're rusty in algebra, I think I said this as much uh, in one of the introductory um, Canvas module pages that the most math you do in this class is algebra. Uh, even though it's calculus-based physics class. And actually in Physics 4B, we do use quite a bit of calculus concepts, especially once we start electromagnetism. And even before that, you'll start seeing calculus really soon. But even then, the skill that you use most often is algebra still. So um, if uh, all these steps, if, uh, if you are struggling in any of these steps, um, or if you're struggling in setting up equation like this, Time to brush up on that algebra skill is now.